Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is going to be the legendary Iron Man run of this perfect mod. We got such a good start and I was excited this morning when uh, getting up uh, just to continue playing this campaign. We're in month number two. I have uh, three scientists and two engineers. We are crushing it and there's even more resistance personnel plus uh, potential rookie right here in the mission. A lot of uh, extraction missions uh, which we've gotten for the beginning of the game. And as for extraction missions, that's really what you want to have at the beginning of the game. Uh, it helps you to snowball faster and essentially get everything set up. So this time we are going to rescue three, four, four even. And where is our extraction? Oh, three, yeah. Two resistance personnel and one rookie and our um, extraction point is here on the rooftop. Easy enough, seven to nine enemies is all it takes to get through it. And we got our 18, so Dark Tower Noxus with his SMG is going to scout ahead. Taking turns and solidly moving just straight ahead. Catalina, our sniper, is uh, going to take the high ground. I think Edgar Allan Poe, if possible, takes the high ground as well, yes. On the move. Go, go, go. Zirkim definitely takes the high ground. And last but not least, the Roby. So far, it's a pretty slow going mission. There isn't much to see. We do have a hack here of the Advent Tower, which might provide a benefit. And we got our first enemy, a drone. Enemy patrol on the move. You don't want to break stealth just for a drone. If possible, you want to just move on. Um, here are a couple of fun facts. You can always shut down the drone. It will not. Uh, it will simply not uh, break your stealth. And here we could get an advanced PCS, which is great, or precision. I think we're going for the PCS. But before we do so, let us continue moving. We can still take the heck when we're right over here. Darktown Oxus continues to advance. We need to get up here, so let's go through the middle. There we go, first enemy pick. An easy one on top of it. So we can do the double movements. Even if we would be caught out here in the middle, definitely not an optimal um, position to be caught out. But even if we uh, were to be caught out here in the middle, I would feel pretty confident that uh, due to our firepower alone, we would be able to still come out, uh, come out on top. For once, we do have a team that is not just squaddies, but we actually do have a team. So we should be fine. Um, sniper takes the high ground. We already know that there is a pack over here. They cons continue to be there. I'm even considering engaging on them but they decide to move away which is fine i 
two turns in and we're almost halfway well more than halfway uh, to the target So moving up to here, mainly to take a peek into the inside. Dark Tower finds nothing, which motivates us to move up. Go, go, go. Several missions of the game can be solved by simply bypassing a lot of the enemies. And since we don't get any corpses um, on this particular type of mission, because uh, we are essentially just um, extracting, there is a limited benefit of, um, of fighting these battles. Um, here's a question. Shall we, shall we move our sniper or do we just keep, it, keep her on the rooftop? I think we'll keep her on the rooftop. Yeah, let's keep her on the rooftop. So, three rounds in and we are almost at the target. Up here on the rooftop is our entry point. It appears that there are no enemies on the rooftop itself. Moving. Good. Which means we can prepare our entrance. We'll do. One. Two. And three. If you don't a hundred percent know where the enemies are or don't have a really good uh, direction of the, um, of the maps and just pot placement, I wouldn't recommend uh, moving as aggressive as I did here. But the reasoning, by the way, there's another pack. Um, good to know. The reasoning why I did what I did is we already know there's one port over to the left. There is uh, one over here, so it's four, which means there can be only pots of two, like this one here, or uh, one pot of three left. And uh, in both cases, I wouldn't have had any problems. Yeah, we're unfortunately too high um, up to to deal with them. So might as well position ourselves here, which will drive them to the, these locations. Wait, uh, Roby doesn't yet have no, we don't have Bladestorm. Wait, do we have the Templar with us? No, we don't. Um, and we don't have a Skirmisher. Okay, good. In which case we don't have Bladestorm. I'm, I'm trusting you here. They've got a position. Right, easy enough. Did this guy just enter the cell? And we can't even enter? Wow. What a strategic whiz. So he entered the cell. 
basically making it impossible for us to enter as well unless we have hacked it and even then i think you can't just open it I would like to try to go for this. Nah. Let's get the intel. We could have gotten the rebels, but I wasn't sure. And intel isn't bad uh, in order to make contact with another region. All right, run and gun it is. Basically moving in. Of course, we're not critting. Lamentable. We're a little bit close here. But I do have an idea. Okay, so... Moving over here. One easy way to get rid of uh, him is to simply use our flamethrower. There we go. Could use the high ground bonus. Unfortunately, uh, that would mean that we don't have a good a cover. So instead, let's move up. Probably can't just kill him. He is in full cover overall uh, at the end of the day. 27% is probably not going to hit. Yeah, only grazing shots. Just wait. We are going to use um, the indoor pathway to get out of here. Like straight up. You know what? We might as well just straight up climb up here and get out of here. Because, yeah, why not? Suppression on the sector to give him a name penalty. I think it will use its mind spin. That's usually what they do. Or simply rush out and take overwatch shots. Well, there we go. Just triggered our next pack. There's an advantage and a disadvantage of leaving someone behind. Okay. First things first. If you say so. Let's get rid of uh, the sector here. Check it before you get too close. Thank you.
Next up, we might want to move up to here. Effectively flanking them. It is strange to see that you would need to go on top of the roof in order to 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 reach this point here faster. Somewhat counterintuitive. Moving up, uh, this here will be a very inaccurate uh, shot so might as well make it count unfortunately it's nothing I am actually afraid that this might trigger the other pack. It didn't. Okay. We don't need the corpses. Might as well just try to kill them 50 50 for the guy in full cover. Ah, unfortunately, didn't hit. This here might trigger the overwatch. Yeah, but we've got five hit points, so I am okay with that. Out. Overwatching here should pin him down. Should have probably moved. Uh, yeah, I did not pin him down. Just a little off. Should have moved um, Edgar Alien Poe basically to this position here. Anyways, looking at our sniper don't have a clear line of sight. So instead let's move over, thank this guy. And essentially kill him. There we go. Run and dry on ammo. I'm trusting you here. Taking an extra piece of loot. 
Glarim core that's worth 20 supplies. And I think we're slowly but surely moving to this direction because we can then now get on top of the roof. What's over there? Plus get out of here. Moving over. Mitch moves over. All of this here shouldn't trigger anyone. Moving right into the open, catching the loot. And we're taking the VIPs. Alright, Dark Tower Noxus takes the loot because apparently you can't just take it by standing at the wall. Edwin Datapad is worth another 30 um, supplies. Back online. There's one peg left over, uh, as well as one drone. So even if we were to walk into them, we still got plenty of firepower left. Moving up. On the move. Oh, we still got to do the hack. That is important for the PCS. Dark Tower Noxus. Do. I think we can almost get everyone out of here. Move, move, move. Roby. Renman moves over. Solid copy. And the VIPs. Yeah, next turn we're going to be gone. We haven't triggered anything, so... Should be a nice and easy exit. Killing the last pack would give us some more experience, but we might farm one uh, set of reinforcements, and that's pretty much it. I'll give it a shot. All right, so what are our chances to get the PCS? 16%. That's low. The other uh, tower was 30%. Oh wow, we still did it. Piece of cake. Okay, we're going to Overwatch and ex already extract the rookies um, and VIPs here. Overwatch. Overwatch. 
Reload Overwatch. Overwatch. Overwatch and we're simply overwatching. So whomever we kill, good. Uh, we take it as bonus experience. If we do not kill anyone, we're just going to evac. Yeah, the reinforcements appeared on the entire different side of the map, so doesn't really matter. Interestingly enough, uh, we are triggering <coughs> the pack, the last pack. However, we somehow fail to at least deal a single point of damage. <laughs> right, this should be two kills. There you go. Destroyed some loot, but got some extra experience. Just in time. Shot failed to connect. I'm gone. Right, we know that that was the last pick, just out of curiosity. We could easily get up here again, just one more turn. What's over there? The greed is real. Let's keep a minimum team here. Yeah, we got uh, another bonus loot item. The PCS uh, was worth waiting for it. And I think we got even another piece of uh, loot from the tower. So from our um, hack, the advanced PCS, which means this year was an extremely successful run. Short of uh, the reinforcements, we killed everyone. Flawless mission, got our three rookies and I think, uh, uh, no, one rookie and two um, Haven forces. And I think we also got a lot of uh, loot out of it. And there we go, lending again. We got six promotions, nice. Edke Alien Po will get promoted and we're going for Revival Protocol. There are just many uh, dis uh, disabling factors, specifically uh, panicked and unconscious, that can be removed. Roby uh, will get combativeness. Um, through the extra dodge that he gets, as well as the counter-attack, we'll go for center mass soon, uh, once we do have the training center. Dark Tarnoxus, let's go for fire in the hole, which lets his rockets be more accurate, 
uh, you've seen they are quite inaccurate and that um, improves it uh, substantially. Zirkim takes walk fire which is basically an extra shot uh, a shot that uh, deals half of the damage but gets a plus 30 so whenever you need to finish something off. We're going with lightning reflexes on Renven, very very nice ability and we're going with Zapper um, and later rapid deployment um, you know what let's go for rapid deployment now going for rapid deployment first um, activate this ability before uh, throwing or launching a support grenade which means smoke uh, flashbang or any other grenade uh, that is considered supportive um, so it's effectively action economy um, advantage plus we get death from above on our sniper um, who still doesn't have a call sign got a data pad that's great got a malarium core got a pcs and got a uh, pcs iron skin incoming melee damage is reduced by three that is awesome by the way um, that's an advanced uh, pcs and we got 10 intel just on top of that Okay, we got even more bonds, alright, well see that's the advantage if you have played so often with the, uh, with, um, the same characters, they seem to bond more, no I'm just kidding, of course they don't bond more often than normal characters. Good, our team of Lance Corporals is standing ready. We'll eventually get new missions for them. For now, we are um, pretty much uh, good. We gotta increase our intel to spawn new missions, though. So, how are we doing this? Number one, we're going to put in one of our scientists in here and go away from recruiting and full out everyone helps with intel so we got nine uh, nine operatives here which is almost the maximum you can get up to 10 so we will spawn missions like crazy vigilance by the way moved up to four because we did a couple of missions here force level moved up to two already so um a little bit stronger advent the gunners and so on will be more uh, present and advent strength moved up to two which is not surprising as well just something to consider uh, you always gotta check uh, what is happening i wish we could sell those but uh, we need the trooper corps We could get another 40 out of the data pad and the um, Elerion core. Which would bring us up to 80. Which would bring us up to 80. Um, Commander, we, have we still don't have the, the GTS. And so far we are fine. Um, just out of curiosity, if we were to buy another scientist, it's up to 140 supplies now. An engineer is 120. So the more you have, the more expensive they are becoming, of course. Good. We're going back and we are scanning because we want missions as many as possible and as fast as possible let's see what we're getting nice we first of all got the necessary alarium too finally go for laser weapons nine days research piece of cake by the way just out of curiosity if I was to assign a scientist here as a resistance haven advisor. Does that slow down 
research progress. We're still at nine days. Um, well, that is awesome. Didn't know that you could do it. Um, so we're stacking Boney here. We have nine people on Intel. We got a scientist helping out and we got the Avenger, uh, which counts as four additional people. So 13, um, uh, 13 people are gathering Intel. Good. We finally can train rookies and if we look at the rookie that we recently have gotten, she has average aim. She's pretty average on everything. So we will make her um, a specialist. Can't recruit anyone, unfortunately. I would like to get this here, but even more important is Vulture, which will give us um, additional loot drops. Although wet work is quite important as well. Not sure yet. Um, probably going for Vulture first. So. Let's get the uh, rookie train as a specialist first and foremost. We're requiring a few specialists. And unfortunately we couldn't hire another rookie. Uh, gotta do some more recruitment in the future. So I am expecting missions. We're scanning fiercely. And there's the first one, ample, um, ample time left over. Um, and we're looking for intel, that's good. We could use some intel to further expand. I'm actually quite okay with this. Let me uh, fill up the team and I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, so... We're going to field a pretty standard team. We're going to use uh, Fury as our front line together with Renvan. Uh, Mitch is uh, going to be our support with the grenades. Uh, midfield uh, is going to be Edgar Alien Poe. And we got our sniper with us. Should be a more than easy mission. So parts of the prime team uh, work together. Should have double checked for bonds. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out as we go. Let's continue to scan for additional missions. And, and there is the next mission, which just spawned 25 Intel Heck uh, workstation. And let me figure that one out real quick. Good. After a little bit back and forth, I settled on four people. Uh, we unfortunately only got uh, short of five days um, expiration time here, but I think we're still going to be fine. Uh, we are definitely lacking another specialist to um, help infiltrating this, but anyways, the second half of our prime team is going to do exactly that. So off we go. I think these are the only two missions which we can spawn in this region, which mean, um, I'm pretty sure that you can spawn more than two missions in a single region. Well, I'm just sending to be completely corrected because you obviously can. Um, Smash and Grab um, is the next mission that we could do here. And let me figure that one out real quick. All right, and we are back. So uh, that looks like a pretty solid team. We got a lot of frontline here, Shinobi plus Assault. We got a lot of utility, a technician, um, as well as a grenadier. And we got some backline. Uh, should be an uh, interesting team to do some uh, smash and grab. And we still have time uh, left open. I didn't want to put in more Equipment items, uh, the more equipment items you put in, the slower uh, the, they start to become 
and smash and grab are usually quite mobile missions where you gotta go for the um, for the crates in order to uh, to get some supplies so you can't just wait and sit there so since apparently three is uh, not uh, two is not the upper limit the question is is three the upper limit or can we continue to simply find uh, additional um, engagements we just cleared another room and first and foremost let's continue the excavation we're really fast in excavating with our two engineers i am wondering what the best next investment is going to be uh, we we do we could go for wet work but i really want to go for vulture as soon as we do have a sergeant we could however also sell it a little bit and um, start our training center or even push it further and directly go for a laboratory to uh, to rush that hmm it's an intriguing thought we don't have enough skill points yet on most of our soldiers to really uh, make a great use of the training facility but we could use uh, the laboratory and uh, uh, putting scientists in there specifically since we have so many you know let's do that if we're rushing um, research anyways might as well completely crush it So we're going with a data pad and an Illyrium core. That leaves 10. So as much as I like suppressors, I like research even more. You can always get back a normal suppressor. So laboratory it is. In no war, the laboratories are really good. They are helpful. So imagine that we are in month number two and during month number two, we're still going to get the laboratory. We got three scientists. We're already crushing on research. So essentially having that will even further perpetrate our, um, our advantage. It's going to be awesome. We're going to scan a little bit in uh, West Africa because I'm not sure if much more than three missions can appear. There is definitely an upper um, amount of missions that can appear in the same region at the same time. And I'm wondering, should we maybe switch to supply gathering? Nah, before we don't have all of the missions, I, I, I might be wrong and there might be another mission uh, possible in the same region. All right, resistance personnel, resistance personnel, and uh, resistance personnel, plus a rookie on top of it. So that looks like four captured rebels. Perfect. Let us uh, consider we have 13 more hours until the covert ops would be done. And that could give us a fourth uh, member to actually infiltrate this one here. Otherwise, we would need to do it with three people. Everyone else seems uh, out. Well, you know what? 
Yeah, we could technically take the rookie and and do it with four people. Yeah, why not? High chances that the rookie is anyways going to be promoted to um, to a specialist because we're currently lacking specialists. So very high chance that we're going to get a specialist out of the rookie. And let me fix this here real quick. Good, very good. We are ready. We're still pretty much over infiltrating this here. But I think we're going to be fine. Um, and let's hope that the rookie actually becomes a specialist. If not, we'll get another rookie as a reward for this mission. And now that everyone is on missions, we might continue recruiting. We gotta get one more recruit over here. And that's pretty much it. Right, so a new faction hero appeared with the Reaper. And we got a nice resistance order. Oh, that one is super good. That one is super good. Uh, extremely helpful. We're going to definitely get headshot uh, between the eyes. Well, you know, since we're short on soldiers actually doing that, might as well use our shinobi here, give her a little bit extra hacking skill, doesn't matter if she becomes wounded, we're not going to use um, a scientist for that. To recruit new forces if we're going to keep this up. So yeah, soon, soon we should be starting to let our prime team or members of our prime team do these missions, but we got to give them experience first. So let's check. The Reaper, I actually haven't yet seen how they have implemented it. Um, their sh stealth ability is greatly reduced um, compared to the normal stealth, but the normal stealth was overpowered, so let's, let's be also fair. Um, precision Shot, Blood Trail, they got the Claymores. Remote start directly at corporal level, I like it. Target definition as well. And needle, all of these skills here are good, so we're going to save our points actually. Because these skills here are better. Silent killer is good. Shrapnel is good. Well, there are a few uh, that are really, really good. Covert definitely is good. Sting is good. Oh wow. Critical shots against the flank target while in shadow will deal double critical damage. That will be awesome. Um, the Reaper will deal a lot of um, a lot of damage. Yeah, the rest seems to be quite similar. OK, 
good but that is going to be um, interesting so different than in the normal game you got your full loadout healing also shouldn't um, shouldn't interfere with your uh, with your stealth so might as well take that and we got a claymore right away plus ghost walker nice We are continuing to scan. We get so many missions uh, lined up. And there we go. First mission has just finished uh, its infiltration. Team Alpha over here can start hacking the workstation for 25 Intel. That's what we're going to do in the next mission. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the content. And uh, if you enjoyed what you've seen, consider giving it a like and uh, leave a comment down below. We see each other in the next mission. Goodbye.